Yeah? Okay. This is a shout out to Siga from my house. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. It's S A S S E G A O F my house. <laughs> I I always thought it says seep on my house. <laughs> yeah, hey. Anyhow, anywho the ex landlord is still harassing me. Now, so if y'all see anything evil or bad saying about me, anything to do with leaking toilet, rotten fish, it's her. And she told me she's going to keep making fake accounts to keep harassing me. She is like a little child. She's jealous. She's jealous because I can be somebody and she can't. That's it. Yeah. She's a slumlord. And that's it. I made a bunch of videos. You know, check out the video. I just I just looked it up. I Googled it, but because I got her blocked on my system <laughs> that you know my you know Google whatever my assistant whatever, okay Google whatever, it won't bring up her name or it won't bring up nothing of her because it's being blocked in the system. But you can look it up. It's under Hey Annie. The roof is leaking by Carl Cash. And then I put on her, are you going to blame that on me too? Because it was sad. I mean, the whole roof was caving in. The ceiling was caving in. And I got it on YouTube. When it rained, when I would take a shit, it rained on me. And I told her about it. And I told her that... that Toilet's leaking. Her husband put the wrong seal. You guys want to see the seal? I'll show you the freaking seal to prove that I'm not lying. Because the plumber came to fix it. I got it on YouTube. Oh, yeah. I got it on YouTube about the toilet leaking. But let's see. Right. I think it's right here. Let's see. She's like, I need to get that seal. I got to get that seal. I got to get that seal from him. Once I get, get that seal from him, then he can't prove it no more. That, uh, oh, this is making me mad. But that's all she's doing. She's just harassing me to get me going. That's all she's doing. She's harassing me to get me going. That's it. She's like a little fucking child with no goddamn life living with mommy, which is fucking sad. Annie. Leave your fucking mind alone. You know? Get a fucking job. Get a fucking life. And leave me the fuck alone. Because I'm, I'm, I'm really getting sick of you fucking saying bullshit on my channel, making all your fake accounts and telling people that, yeah, I crashed your house. No, I didn't trash your house. Your neighbors don't seriously trash your house because you were a slumlord. You didn't fix shit, and here is the toilet seal. See this? This is the toilet seal her husband put in. Does that look right, people? Does that look right? He forced this seal in to the toilet. Yeah. He forced it in. See, he forced it in. And you can see, look at that. See that right there? It was pinched. And it was leaking for six goddamn years. And I told her, I called her up on the phone. And she goes, Carl, you got my rent? I'm like, look, Ann, I don't have your rent because you had me buy all that new furniture and shit. And I'm in debt. I ain't got money. I'll pay you the next two weeks. I'll pay your rent. She says, well, Carl, I don't understand why you have a problem paying your rent when it's so cheap. I should be raising your rent, if anything. I said, you know why my rent is cheap? I said, because this place is so trashy and, and, and ran down 
Carl, there is nothing wrong with that house. That house is perfect. That house is beautiful. It's it's like a like a castle in Fox Lake. I go, oh yeah. I said, you think it's so great? I says the roof is leaking. She says, well, Carl, you need to put buckets up there, or get out. I said, well, that's one thing. The roof is leaking. The ceiling's getting ready to fall in. I said, your toilet's leaking. She says, what? I said, your toilet is leaking. Your husband put the wrong seal in there, and the toilet's been leaking for six years. The floor is all rotten. So she's using this against me, trying to say that I made it leak. No. I got the fucking gasket right here, and the, the plumber that fixed the toilet leak, he says, he's like, son of a bitch. He, he, he knew her husband. And he said, he is not no plumber. He should not have been trying to fix that toilet. Trying to save a couple extra bucks. Put the wrong seal in there, and it was been leaking for six years. And I told her, I said, that floor is getting rotten. I said, it's ready to fall through the floor. And she starts crying and that and saying that she has no money to get it fixed. And please, Carl, try not to lean on it. And I told the judge when she took me to court, trying to sue The judge is like, what? He says, let me get this right. You're suing Mr. Kish for your toilet leak. And she goes, yes, Your Honor. He made it leak by filming himself on it. I'm like, Your Honor, I'm a 250-pound man. How can I not use the toilet without leaning on it? I told her that toilet's ready to fall through the floor. I can't lean on it. If I even put a, a, a pair of shoes on there, it might fall through the floor. And she refuses to fix it. She tells me she has no money to fix it. And she's not going to fix it. She told me I need to get out. I need another find another place to live. All she's been wanting me to do is get out of there so she can rip out the fucking wall and get the goddamn money that I told her that the landlord, my landlord that died in the house, he buried money in the walls. Okay? And I told her about it from the beginning. She's been trying to get me out. She's been trying to get me out for the last 10 years. She finally got me out, and she left a comment on my on my uh, YouTube channel saying, Thanks, Carl, for leaving. I just claimed $32,000 that I took out of the walls by the hallway, right where I knocked. I was knocking on the walls, you know, like this, you know. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, knock, knock. It's probably buried right here. And then I had a dream. The landlord that died, Rick Starr, he says, Carl, leave the money alone. That has been put there for a reason because I didn't want no one to take it. Please respect my my wishes. Leave the money alone. I'm like, okay, whatever. And I left the money alone. But as soon as she got me out, she went right for it. I would love to go in that house right now and find a hole in the wall. There you go. Illegal eviction. She evicted me to get that fucking money. You know, neighbors downstairs, one's dead, one's going to prison. She told me, Vern's going to prison, so you're going to need to find another place to live because your little bit of rent alone is not going to pay the mortgage payment. She's living with her mother. She doesn't have a job. Her husband divorced her. Her kids are gone. She's living with her mommy. She don't have a job. She don't have an income. And my little bit of rent won't pay the mortgage payment. That's what she told me. I should have told that to the judge. But I just let it go. I'm trying to let this all go. But she won't leave me alone on this channel. <laughs> yeah? That's all right. I got the FBI working on it. They're going to find her. And she's going to be shut off of YouTube, off my channel, and probably get it for you know harassment because she's sitting there telling me to kill myself. Yeah, her <laughs> her carpenter or whatever painter, or the guy that painted the house. She was making payments to the guy. He she owed him like fifteen thousand dollars for painting the house. I mean, probably didn't. Feeling the crack there, that house was big. He's the one that painted it blue. Anyways, she put the guy in debt. His wife left him. He couldn't take it no more. He went in the, shock, went in the garage and blew his brains out. And she's telling me to kill myself too. 
I think she has issues with men. That's why her husband divorced her. YouTube car gets described by Annie. Leave me alone.